Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna learn how to make built-in period underwear. So for your supplies, you're gonna need, of course, a sewing machine and thread, but also some scissors, some pins, the fabric that you want to use for the top, this is what you'll see um, when you're looking down at your underwear. Um, this is just a cotton. Cotton is my favorite because it's breathable um, and I just like the way it feels and it doesn't get like too hot. And then you'll also need your waterproof layer. Today I'm going to be using pole, um, but you can also use um, like a, a soft shell fleece and I will link that below. It's something you can also use for cloth pads so you can have multiple uses, but it's, it's a nice waterproof barrier that breathes. Pull is not breathable, um, but for this project it will work okay. And then I have the underwear that my friend sent me, so I'm just going to be using these two pairs of underwear here for the project. And then for the core today, I'm going to be using just a white flannel. You can use any flannel that you have uh, around the house or just head on over to your craft store um, or like even a Walmart and they'll have flannel. I like to also use heavy organic bamboo fleece that I will link below for you guys. But since um, this friend that I have has more of a light flow and um, doesn't really require something that needs to absorb like a ton of liquid, then we're just gonna use this flannel. And then you'll also need a piece of paper. Today I'm using cardstock because I just like it. It's a little bit thicker um, and then a pen. So the first thing you want to do is get your paper out and you're going to pick the underwear that you'd like to put your built-in pad into. So I'm just going to kind of lay this out. And she requested that it be mostly um, a front a front pad. She's a front bleeder and she doesn't want a lot of bulk on the back, um, especially if she's going to be wearing leggings. You know, she doesn't want any kind of like she doesn't want it to look like she's wearing a diaper. <laughs> and I don't blame her. So we're just gonna, this is the back and this is the front. And so I'm just gonna come through here and I'm basically just gonna give this a trace. So we're just gonna kind of go like this. And remember, we're gonna fold this in half and we're gonna make this whole thing symmetrical. So it'll be, it'll be easier to, uh, you'll kind of see it come together. So there's the side shape. So now we're just gonna take this. take this, this is about where it's going to sit. And it looks like I need to take off a little bit more right there because it's a little bit wide. So this is kind of the fun part, you know, you can you can play around with your design um, where you want your coverage. Like I'm noticing that this is just a little bit too wide. So I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. No big deal. And the nice thing is, is if you guys decide that you don't like the shape that you've made, not a big deal. Just throw the paper away and just start over. Okay, so let's put that in there now. Okay, I'm liking that much better. And then just kind of, just hold it up. And just kind of look at it. Make sure you're happy with the way that it looks. Okay, so I think that looks good. All right, so now that I've got the, this basic shape, what I want to do is I want to make a template that is for my core. Okay, cool. So this is also a reason to use cardstock because 
you know, if this was just um, printer paper, it might be kind of thin, but it is doable. So now I've got this outside edge, which is my pattern for my entire pad. And then I also have this inside edge that I can use to trace for my core. So let's go ahead and make the core. Okay, so go ahead and get your flannel out. I'm just gonna pick a corner piece here and I'm gonna give her a double layer for her core. So this will be probably a double layer would be considered between a light and a moderate. It'd be right in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my template and it's okay to use your marker on this or your invisible marker, your sewing marker, whatever it is you wanna use because this, this is not gonna be seen. Okay, so now we have our two little core uh, pieces here that we're gonna use inside our pad. Go ahead and grab your topper fabric. Okay, so I'm gonna use this mini mouse fabric. Uh, my friend is not super on board with the idea of cloth, but she's really been giving it a go and I'm so proud of her. And so I'm going to use this mini mouse fabric, which I know she loves anything Disney to kind of uh, <laughs> get her excited about it and just to make it a little bit more fun for her. So this is my top fabric, right? So I've got my core here, and then this is gonna be the top, and then the back layer is gonna be our pool or our waterproof uh, fabric, and nobody's gonna see this. So let's flip this over. So you want the pretty side facing down, and then you're gonna take your template and your marker, and you're gonna come through, and you're just gonna make a mark, and since we're making two pairs of underwear, um, we only need two of these. If you're making this like in bulk, like if you're making a whole um, set for yourself, it's I find it's a lot faster. You don't have to do it this way. You can just do one at a time, but um, cut all your pieces out at once. Like cut all your cores, cut all your topper, and then cut all your pull. And it just makes your project go much faster. So now I've got my toppers cut out. Here's the pretty side. And I'm gonna make sure that my cores fit in there how I want them to fit. And that looks good. Okay, and before we do anything with the pull, which is like our last step uh, as far as constructing this little built-in pad, we wanna go to our machine and we're just gonna sew uh, maybe like this is really up to you, but maybe like a quarter of an inch, um, if you can with your machine, all the way around. You don't wanna sew like too far to the inside and leave this kind of loose. You really wanna be able to sew this down because otherwise, after washing and stuff, it could get kind of curled up and it'll create like a lump right there. So just try to get as close to the edge as you can. Take your pins out and now readjust them so you're grabbing all three layers. And then we'll take this over to the sewing machine and get it sewed up. So if these are really wrinkly after sewing that core on, give them a nice press, but these look pretty good. But you can kind of see what it looks like now. So now we've got this whole thing here sewn in. So we know that this isn't gonna be shifting around on us. Okay, so go ahead and grab your pull. And now this is really important. You wanna have the shiny side. So pull has a, has a fabric-y side, and then it has a shiny, this is the waterproof side. You wanna put that shiny side down, okay? and then go ahead and grab your pins. The pull will withstand a few pins in it, just keep it towards the outside. I haven't had any problems with anything leaking and I've been making cloth pads and cloth related uh, things for about five years. So um, you can use Wonder Clips if you have that, but I just use pins. It's always worked out well for me. And then what you wanna do is you want your pretty side to be facing down, right? So we've got the shiny side and then you have your pretty side. So this fabric-y uh, fabric side on the pull and your pretty side are touching. 
And then I'm just gonna come through and put a pin here. And put a pin here. Okay, so we're gonna go through and we're just gonna sew about a quarter of an inch away from this line that we started on. Now, if you have a hard time sewing that close to fabric, maybe um, you're a new sewer or maybe you try it and it just doesn't turn out good, then when you go through and you use your pattern, which I have here, when you go through and you use your pattern to cut out your topper fabric, so when I'm gonna go through and cut my mini Mouse, come through, take your pen, mark your line, and then when you cut, cut about a quarter, um, maybe even a half inch around uh, this line that you've created, right? So you'd have your, your line drawn out on your topper fabric, but you're not gonna cut right on that line. You're gonna cut like a quarter to a half inch. And then it just gives you a little bit of an allowance and um, it might be easier when you're working it through your machine. But for this uh, specific project in her underwear, I don't necessarily want this fabric to come all the way to the edge or hang over the edge. So I'm just gonna sew a little bit here on the inside about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so I've got these all pinned up and ready to go. I'm just gonna take this to my machine and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch away from the edge of my topper fabric here on the inside. And I'm gonna leave, uh, pick a spot, let's say, I'm gonna say the very bottom here. Pick the most flat spot, so there's a lot of curves on this, so I'm just gonna pick this flat spot down here. And if you want, you could take a marker and you could come through and mark, um, let's mark it on the pole since that part's gonna get cut off anyways. So let's just go, this isn't very thick, you know, this is a pretty thin uh, core that we put in here, so we don't have a lot to jam through that hole. So let's say like about that, maybe even a little less. Okay, so take it to the machine, start and stop, do a back stitch right here. So all the way around, and then when you get to this end, also do a back stitch. Okay, so now we've sewn all the way around, we have our openings here on our flat edge, and we're just gonna go ahead and cut these out. Okay, so I've got these both cut out now, and you'll notice that around the opening, I left just a little bit of that pull layer right there, just so we have um, just a little bit of extra when we, when we tuck it in, and you'll see what I mean. So go ahead and use your thumb and your middle finger, and you're just gonna kinda grab all the way to the end. I've got my thumb here at the top, and then I'm gonna use my middle finger, and I'm just gonna push this through. Pull it through there. You can use um, something with a straight edge. I like to use an orange peeler. Where is my orange peeler? Ah, okay, got my orange peeler. I want to mention that you know if you're if this is your first time or you've made a few of them or whatever you're just not like a great seamstress but you're trying your best don't be too hard on yourself if this thing doesn't come out with the exact shape that you were hoping for but it works you guys think about what it's for okay it's okay don't stress about it it's not a big deal with that said if you are planning on making these to sell and you want to kind of make a business out of it then just forget everything I just said because then I do think it is important that um, your work looks nice and tidy. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not robots, we're not machines that just pump these things out. But at the same time, you know, that's good business. You wanna give uh, your customers quality products and you want them to look nice and all that good stuff, good stitching. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck this in, make sure that both fabrics are in there. I'm gonna press it and then I'm gonna iron these real quick. Okay, pretty cool, how exciting. <laughs> I'm excited, it's always fun when the project like starts to come together and you're like, I did it. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our undies. Set those aside. And here's the front, the little bow. So I'm just gonna kinda lay this open. And I know that this wide part right here, this very like, this. I know that this end is the back. So just remember which end is your back. So I'm gonna place this in here. And she said I want it right in the center and more towards the front. So that's about where that should sit because here's that little piece that sits right in the center of your underwear. So I'm gonna place it about here. And this is kind of what I was going for. See how this doesn't go all the way to the edge? And that's fine if, uh, if you wanna make something that goes all the way to the edge. That's the fun part is you guys get to decide what you wanna do uh, when you make your template.
All right, now while, while I'm pinning this in, I just wanna to mention too that this style of um, creating built-in cloth pads, you can also use this style for like incontinence pads for adults, like if maybe, um, you know, you have some uh, a friend or a family member who's elderly and just needs something for like incontinence or, you know, it's hard to afford like incontinence underwear because they can get kind of spendy. Um, so if you want to do that, it's the same idea. So if you're going to do this for um, like, like this is kind of, we're just, we're making cloth pads. So we're going to get kind of in depth here. But if you're talking about blood and you're talking about urine, urine definitely works differently than blood it flows differently and it's absorbed differently so I definitely probably wouldn't go with the flannel for um, urine i would go with the heavy organic bamboo fleece which i'm going to link below for you guys um, so if you're going to do it for that use the heavy organic bamboo fleece it's just amazing as far as like absorbing um absorbing liquid and and holding it in and then you can also use the same idea right with the waterproof layer for like a child's pull-up so if you're wanting to make um you know, pull-ups for your, your baby or your kid or um, someone who is struggling with uh, holding, you know, their pee at night, then this would be great for that too. And that's gonna save you a lot of money from not buying pull-ups. And you get to create your own shape, which is cool. Um, I'm actually gonna put this one right here. Okay, and it's good to get this pinned down. Make sure this is all flat back here. Like turn it over and look. Sometimes there can be little, little like roll-ups. So that looks really good. This one looks really good. Okay, now we're gonna take this to the machine and I'm just gonna come through on my machine and I'm gonna start here where my opening was on the pad and I'm just gonna backstitch and I'm gonna sew all the way around. I'm probably gonna go like maybe a quarter of an inch again um, on, on the edge here and then when I get back here, I'm gonna backstitch. I want to mention to you guys that when you're turning your, your underwear here, just kind of take your time and when you get around these corners, these edges, just lift your presser foot and then you guys can adjust this and also kind of keep checking to make sure that your underwear underneath has not bunched up. Gonna cut these threads off and then I will show you what they look like and hold them up for you okay so there it is so you can't really see it from the outside I mean it's pretty discreet and then she didn't want too much in the back you know so she doesn't see through her leggings but now it's all built in and easy to use I'm so excited for her to get these and I'm really excited to see what you guys think. And if you try the project, leave me um, a picture on Instagram or you can leave a comment here. And of course, a like and subscribe would be fun too. Um, I hope you guys stick around for more sewing tutorials and crafty tutorials. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.